Hello, everybody. How to get money to invest in your business. Welcome, everybody, to today's episode of Kibara's Daily Show. Oh, my gosh. It's only whenever I actually go live that I see how busy my hair is. So excuse me for my busy hair. But let me just do my checks as usual to make sure that everything is working. In the meantime, wherever you guys are tuning in, whether it's on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, do let me know where you're tuning in from. Always nice to know. Also, if you're watching this video on the replay, comment below and say replay. But in any case, Let's get started with some lovely messages and let each other know where we're at so we can get the conversation started. Hello, Yeti. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Hello, who do we have here on Facebook? Let me just quickly do my checks to make sure everything is working okay. And I am excited to be here with you guys with another episode. It's always so lovely. I was just looking uh, through my videos Um today and I was speaking to a few people about it and it's always so lovely to see people having conversations on the videos I think mean, like I love it I love I love it whenever there's like a place where we can meet each other and where we can uh, you know hang out and vibe together and basically you know have have nice conversations so I just want to thank you guys for that as well for you know for you guys making the conversations during the video so it's very very lovely of you guys now i'm just doing my final checks that's why i actually turned in a bit earlier um so there we go all is working on that end now let me do the other thing on this end as well <laughs> so let me know guys where are you tuning in from and how has your day been so far? I finally am back to my multiple screen setup. It's always <laughs> lovely to have a multiple screen setup because then it's like easy. I can see all the different platforms on the different screens. So that is, uh, yeah, that just makes it a lot more easy, a lot more enjoyable for me. Um, but let me just do this final thing right here. So um, start the party. Let's make sure that this is all working. <laughs> Yes, this is working. Okay, we got people now tuning in. Alrighty, so welcome on another episode. And today, um, I am actually very thrilled about this episode because this is actually one of the most asked questions, or well, maybe not the most asked question, but at least a question I get a lot from people um, as to like, how do I find the money to invest in my business? How how do I, you know, what do I do? Because Oh, hey, we got Gabra in the house, we got Gry in the house, we got D in the house, we got Roberto in the house. Lovely for you guys to join. I'm just gonna wave. Um, I sometimes it, it you know it doesn't really update that fast, especially when it comes to my Facebook page representation. It just goes really, really slow. I'm just actually gonna put a smiley face over here so that I yeah, now I it's so strange. I can only start seeing it after I pose myself uh, or I, I write something myself. Uh, hello, Demon Centrum. Hello, Dad. Love you. <laughs> we got Jane in the house as well. Um, and we got Salima in the house. Hello. How are you doing? Really nice. So we got people starting to tune in now. Hey, Jennifer. Cool to have you here. Jane waves hello. Nice. And Gabor is in his store. Nice. I am create my products. Nice. Very, very cool. And we got Suleiman and Guyetti on Instagram. Let me do some waves there as well. And I think on YouTube, I can't wave. Or if you guys know if I can wave on YouTube, tell me how. <laughs> I don't know how to wave on YouTube. I can just do this, hey, like an actual physical wave, but there's not like a button or anything to go and wave. So anyways, let's just get started. So again, this is a question that I get a lot from a lot of people, um, you know, especially people who are new to this uh, business world, new to um, building up their own freedom lifestyle. Sometimes it's like new clients coming on board, asking like, how, how do I do certain things? Sometimes it's just, you know, from running events worldwide, getting these online masterclasses and, and stuff where people ask me these questions. So I thought, let's make a video about it. I actually had a lovely conversation about exactly this topic with my dad today. And um, my dad was sharing with me a lot of different things, a lot of different metaphors, strategies, Things that are, you know, I, I couldn't think of, you know, phrasing it in such a strong way uh, and, and thinking of actually the topics as my dad did. So I asked my dad, you know, 
can I use all those 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 metaphors, all those things, and and actually put it in a in a live session with you guys? And my dad obviously said yes. So thank you so much, everybody who is here in the house. Comment and say thank you, crew mano. Mwah, love you, dad. And yeah, I'm very excited for today's episode. And it's gonna be really practical as well because when it comes to, especially those of you who've been following me for a longer time, know that whenever I do my live videos, I don't like to make things complicated. I don't like to, you know, uh, 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 like the difficult about it. Business is easy, right? And at the moment that you actually start understanding, like I'm doing practical things, you can actually get results fast. Like I would have never thought three and a half years ago that I would have been in this position today where I get to travel the world, get to help a whole bunch of people haven't made you know, over seven figures online and, you know, being able to live what I call a freedom lifestyle. And it's, it's really lovely. It's really cool. Um, it, it gives you a lot of freedom, but most of all, it gives you a lot of fulfillment. Uh, it gives me a lot of fulfillment. I don't know about you guys. Do you guys agree with that? Would, like For me personally, it's cool to be able to make the money, but it's really, really cool if you're able to help people, if you're able to make someone believe in themselves, get someone to do things that are extraordinary that you actually, like most people thought like, oh, I, I didn't think I could do something like this and and get people results. That like those things to me are really, really, you know, that's, that's one of the best feelings ever. I don't know if you guys agree with that. Let me know by commenting below. Let's get the conversation started. And for those of you who are new on my lives, we, we always have a little party going on. We always have a little bit of conversation because I always very much enjoy these things where I can learn from you guys and where we can get the five together, together with this amazing group of people, and we can actually add more, loads of value to one another. And everybody goes off this life at the end of the day, being more empowered, being more wise, having actually some actionable steps that they can take into their lives and really, you know, start seeing some results. So let's get the conversation going. Let me know, comment below, what is it that you currently do? Some of you who are watching this may already be in business and have, you know, run online funnels, or perhaps you are in a, in a, in a more classical business, like you are having a store or you're having a factory or I don't know, but let me know what it is that you're doing. And perhaps some of you are completely new to business and actually like the idea of being able to do what you want to do, when you want to do it, with whom you want to do it. And, and, you know, to actually have that freedom in life and to feel that fulfillment. The other day, I, oh, yesterday, actually, I was talking about um, depression and the benefits of depression, the hidden blessings of depression and we had a really lovely conversation and one of the things that we touched upon yesterday was that isn't it amazing that if you can just you know just think about yourself waking up in the morning and feel like yes I am so excited for today I'm so excited about what I'm going to be doing and and I cannot wait to get started right whereas most people and I recently uh was you know researching this 85 percent of people do not enjoy their career do not enjoy their job and it really it's like it's heartbreaking to understand that most people don't enjoy what they do maybe that's you maybe you are listening to this right now and actually think like hey yeah heck that's me too like i don't enjoy what i do on my day job or perhaps you do enjoy it but you are feeling like you're being underappreciated or you're feeling like the social circle that you hang around with is not necessarily as positive or as fruitful so that you can you know develop yourself or have this you know this happiness feeling around there and so a lot of the time what i see as well with people is that they feel like okay i wish that there was another way i wish that i could actually do something that a brings me the fulfillment brings me the happiness b allows me to pay the bills so it actually brings in financial income and c it could actually provide me this freedom of um really being happy and, and fulfilled and, and being able to do what you want to do when you want to do it and actually you know live that laptop lifestyle, be able to go anywhere in the world where you just have your phone, just have your laptop and you're able to help people and make a lot of money. So let me know where you are at. Let me know what, what it is that you're doing and, and let me know if you would be excited about actually starting to live your freedom lifestyle. And I'm sure that the things that I'm sharing with you guys on this very video can actually help you a lot in order to make the steps towards that. So that's why I'm very excited about it. But like I said, also, <laughs> it's going to be very, very practical, but also I've actually put some text in this copy, in the copy of this video, uh, the little bit of text above it, 
I'm not on Instagram, guys. <laughs> it's not with you. Well, on YouTube, it does have it also in the description. Um, but basically, there was this thing, this photo. I want to quickly show you guys this one. It's really funny. And it, and it actually, you know, it really goes to show that if you want something bad enough or good enough, then you can realize it. But it's all about this one word. And if I was to think about like, what is the biggest thing or one of the biggest things that distinguishes whether you are, you know, going to be able to effectively create success for yourself, this one word is super, super important. And I want you guys to comment that below because with this word, it's going to, you know, change your life. So the first thing is priority, right? Set your priorities straight. And that's why I want to quickly, you know, put this, explain what this little text is. It's basically this part right here. Let me see if you guys can see it. So this is Facebook. Have a quick look. I'll be reading it out in a second as well. Instagram, have a quick look. <laughs> so basically what it says right here is like these choices that people make in their heads. Healthy food shop, 100 pounds, too expensive. But the dinner date, also 100 pounds, reasonable. Months, uh, months of supplements for 100 pounds, can't afford that. But nights out drinking, 100 pounds, is a weekly occurrence. And personal growth seminar for 280 pounds, crazy chat. But a Gucci belt, 280 pounds, uh, two, yeah, 280 pounds, I need to have it. Starting a business, around 1,000 uh, pounds, I can justify that. But an iPhone XR, which is also 1,000 pounds, that is a necessity. And the last one, uh, 60 minutes at the gym. Oh, I wish I had the time. 60 minutes watching Netflix, time flies, time flies. Let's watch another one, right? So I just put these things up because uh, it was a Amy, one of the amazing people who is part of my team. Uh, she posted this on her Instagram. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so true, right? It's all about the choices that we make. And, and basically the final part of, of what, what Amy shared on her, on her uh, story says, everything in life is about priorities. All you, uh, and, and what you prioritize will dictate what life looks like. So where will you be in five years? Right. So basically all the priorities that you said right now will allow you or will not allow you to realize your dreams. So you have to understand for yourself, like, how important are your dreams to you? Is it really something like it doesn't really mean a lot for you to be able to live the good life, to be able to have your finances in check, to be able to have your health in check, to be able to have your relationships in check? That is something that you really have to ask yourself because if you do, if you do feel this like, yes, I want to make it happen, then the next part of it is the action that you need to take to allow you to make it happen, right? Because it cannot just be that you're thinking like, yes, I want it, yes, I want it, yes, I want it. I, I wish I had a Lamborghini. I wish I had a Lamborghini. I wish I could travel. I wish I had a million dollars on my bank account. It's not just like that. The thinking process, oh, <laughs> Instagram, stay with me. <laughs> the Instagram. I want to say the Instagram process, <laughs> the thinking process, being able to visualize it, being able to think positive thoughts, to feel positive emotions, to have positive vibrations is a necessity, 100%. But the action cannot be left out. If you feel and can clearly see what is your ideal future and what you could see as you being the 2.0 version of yourself, and I usually do this visualization with my clients or, or you know, whenever I have run events or things like that, where we basically allow all the participants to think about where would they ideally see themselves in the future. And then I describe like how I would see my future. And you can think for yourself, where would you see yourself, right? For me, it's me walking on the beach, feeling the breeze, feeling the warmth of my skin, listening to laughter, li listening to my family and friends having an amazing time. And I can just feel how happy I feel. I can just feel how everything, all the struggle, all the different things that I went through in order to reach that point, how everything was worth it. And I actually become one with my future self, which we often call my 2.0 version of yourself. But that's one step. That's one step. The awareness, the realization, the visualization that you see, okay, this is what I want my future to be. Now, the second part to it is you actually understanding that 
thinking about that 2.0 version is not enough. It's time to become that 2.0 version. It's time to become that person that you see when you close your eyes and you visualize that future that you want for yourself. And the moment you become that person, you have to start thinking, feeling, acting, making decisions like that 2.0 version of yourself. The moment you do that, both on a vibrational level, it will allow things like for those of you who are into the law of attraction and in spirituality and all that stuff, you will basically by being and thinking and, and feeling emotionally and calmness of that 2.0 version of yourself, you will allow the vibrations to be in check with that such that the future like the grid can fill itself in with all these occurrences that will lead you to a way, lead you to a future that is suited for that 2.0 version. So basically by being that 2.0 version, you are creating that future for yourself. That's one side of it. That is more like the, the spiritual or the mental side of it. But then the other side is the practical side, which is you living life like that 2.0 version of yourself. You making decisions like that 2.0 version of yourself will make. And so what I'm going to be sharing with you today are practical steps that you must be willing to take because that is what the 2.0 version of yourself would take. Now, if that makes sense, comment below, that makes sense. And also, let's not just say whether it makes sense. You guys, I want you basically you guys to get a epiphany from this live video. I want you guys to get a breakthrough. I want you guys to be leaving this live video in a way that you will take action and that you will create that beautiful 2.0 version of a future that you would want to have by being the 2.0 version of yourself. So comment below and say, I am the 2.0 version of yourself. By the way, for those of you who are new to the channel, basically the way how this works is that if there's two reasons why I'm constantly telling you guys to comment things below, and those two reasons are in your best interest. The first reason of it is a practical thing. Basically, science has shown that if you are actively participating, which means commenting below, chatting with one another to really repeat what I say, all these parts, if you're actively participating, allows you to retain 85% more of the information, meaning that more likely is it that you will become one with the information and that you will actually start practicing it and implementing it and thereby get results. The second reason why I'm telling you guys to repeat what I say or to comment below is because it holds vibration. So that is the more spiritual side of it. Whether you are speaking and you're basically repeating what I say or whether you are thinking and listening to it or whether you are actually verbalizing it by writing it, all these things hold vibration. And so if you believe in the law of attraction, if you believe in all those spiritual things, then you also will understand by you actively participating and writing these things out, it actually adds to the creation of that future. So that's the reason why I ask you guys to, um, to basically for yourself to be able to get closer to your goal. So comment these two things below. And let me give some shout outs as well. <laughs> Sap wrote it down. Yes, D wrote it down. Abby wrote it down. Fihil. Hey, Fihil. So nice to, I hope I pronounced your name right, but nice to have you here. I'm very excited to be speaking to you some more after our lovely conversation yesterday. And I must say, it is quite warm wherever I am, and especially with all these lamps <laughs> shining on me on my in my studio. It is uh, it doesn't help. <laughs> but anyways, um, I was trying to, by the way, act British or or speak in a British tone. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, whenever this is actually a funny thing, a funny side note, or at least I think it's funny, is that whenever I try to do the British accent, I sound like a British grandma. I was like. We only show affection to horses and dogs. <laughs> I don't even know if I did it right, but somehow I picture myself like I'm an old grandma saying something like that. Anyways, I want to give a shout out to Jane. I want to give a shout out to Salima for writing it down. Dad, obviously. Blight, also cool to have you on here. Hey, Rock, cool to have you on here as well. Okay, cool. So let's get into the next step. The next step is this. So you guys have made that commitment. You guys understand and can see clearly what it is that you want to do and how you envision that future to be. Now it's time for the practical part. It's time for you to understand, okay, these are the steps that I must consistently take in order for me to realize it, right? Now, I've got a number of videos here on my channel, whether it's YouTube, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Instagram. Well, Instagram doesn't keep it, so jump onto YouTube or Facebook um, to be able to see those things, which speaks about a lot of strategies, a lot of... 
um, you know, practical things about how you can make those steps in your life step by step so that you actually can see the results. Right. I've given out a number of free uh, ebooks. I give a number of free trainings and all the rest of it. And I'm going to continue to do so. So if you guys are interested in that stuff, then stay tuned for sure. And also just an, as an announcement tomorrow, I'm going to do um, again. And I've done this many times before in the past, but I'm going to do it again is a uh, a life, no, a life, yeah, it's going to be live, obviously, but it's going to be a giveaway. It's going to be some kind of contest. So if you guys are interested in really getting your hands on some high quality content that allows you to see drastic results in your life, then make sure to say, to see my live video tomorrow. It's going to be really, really fun. Okay, let's get into it. So you have to take action as your 2.0 version of yourself would do, right? And there are a number of different ways, and I'm gonna really describe this action in this video with regards to how you can get money to invest in your business. Now, one important principle that I want to 100% sink in with you guys, and I want this message to land. Hey, the lazy genius, I have missed you. I was like, where are you on the live? But cool to have you here. Make sure actually to jump on Facebook or YouTube instead, because there's a lot more in there than you have on the Instagram. But anyways, thank you for joining. Um, the, this, the practical steps that I'm gonna share with you guys right now is in order for you to know how can I get money to, in, to invest in my business. It could be, for example, that you want to you know, set up your, your first business and you want to have some money to have for Facebook ads. You want to have some money to be able to invest in a camera or you want some money to be able to get something off the ground or whatever it may be, right? Perhaps you want to have some money to be able to invest in a venue where you're going to you know, do a presentation and thereby sell and close and whatever it is, right? So you want to find out how can I find that money? It could also be that you want to have money so that you can invest in a mentor or invest in a program that will help you and teach you step by step what to do so that you can get your, give yourself a shortcut. One of the biggest things that I've learned in my entrepreneurship, my entrepreneurial journey is to invest in shortcuts. And I always tell myself this and, and, and you guys who've been on my, my channel or my trainings before also know that we always have this little voice right here that says like, um, are you sure you want to do that? Do you want to spend money on that or that? And then I always have to say, like, get away <laughs> and understand that whenever you put money out, money will come back as well, as long as you stay consistent. And money is actually a renewable source. And a lot of the time we don't think like that we, in that way at all. We actually do, don't like the, the, the educational system is not suited for that. It's like, there's a big problem with the educational system. And we haven't learned any of these, these ways of thinking about money in the way how, let's say millionaires and billionaires teach their children. Right. We haven't learned passive income 101. We haven't got financial freedom mastery. We haven't learned how to be able to um, to allow money to make more money or anything like that. Right. We learn other very useful stuff like calculus or like geography and you know those types of things or languages that we will never use again, which I'm sure has a benefit in a number of areas. But you would guess that actually what most of us need is to be able to build up a stable living. And those are the things that we don't learn. And therefore, most people in the world are not really able to be able to get to build wealth for themselves. And I was listening to a video by Grant Cardone recently where he explained that the reason why so many people in the world struggle financially and struggle to multiply wealth is not because people are stupid, not because people are lazy, not because of any other reason that people may think it is, but it's actually because we weren't educated in that way. It is actually because we have not learned these things. We're basing our actions on the wrong data. And because of that, most of these money principles this voice comes up and this voice says, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Or what if it doesn't work? Or I'll do it later. Or I don't have the money. I don't have the time. Like all these different things that are actually very lethal in order for you to be able to realize your dreams, create a business, multiply wealth, 
and all the rest of it. And so I speak about this in a lot of different <laughs> sessions. A lot of you who are on here have been at the recent Freedom Lifestyle Challenge where I was explaining these things as well. So I'm not going to go into that again, but instead I'm going to be sharing with you guys what you need to know, like five different things that you need to know in order for you to create capital for your business. Right. So I'm going to very specifically today talk about this one thing that can allow you to find the money to be able to invest in a mentor, to find the money to invest in your business and to basically allow things to grow and scale from there. So the first thing that I want to share with you is that you have to understand that money is value. Money is value. Right. And so. If you want to get more money, you, the first option, the first thing, the first strategy, and I want you guys to comment it below, is you need to increase your value, right? And, and Eric always says this in a very lovely way when it comes to our events, is that he says, do you think you get paid for time? And then he says, yeah, how many of you think that you are paid for time? And then always a bunch of people in the room uh, raise their hands and say, yeah, I'm paid for time. And then he always says, no, point to yourself and say, no, I'm not, <laughs> right? And the reason why it's, it's so funny because a lot of us think, oh, we're paid for our time. Then he says, okay, do this. Go sit there, grab a clock, open up your internet banking and watch time go by. And then see if your bank account goes up in, in value, like the, the amount of money goes up. And then he says, you're not being paid for your time. You're being paid for the value that you add in the time. And so if you want to get paid more, whether you are in a job and you want you know, to get that promotion, or whether you want to get paid more for your services or for your programs or for your products as a business owner, then you need to increase your value. That's the first thing. Comment below and say, increase your value. Now, you may be thinking, okay, but how do I do that? How do I just, you know, increase my value? How, what, what does it even mean, right? Now, let me give you a very clear example of how you can do that. It could be by you being able to get more results. Get more results for the company that you work for. Show more initiative that can bring the company more results. It could be, if it is for your own business, that you actually also get more results for your clients. Or it could be that you allow yourself to position yourself as such. Because let me share with you the number one death, cause of death for coaches or for um, people in the e-learning industry, which by the way, is almost a billion dollar a day industry. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but in the coaching slash e-learning industry, people are spending on a day-to-day -day basis over half a billion dollars and it will grow by 2025 to be a billion dollar a day industry it's absolutely ridiculous but that is why you want to actually get yourself in that industry it's really ridiculous really beautiful and amazing you can help so many people with it and make a lot of money by just being you but that's a side it's a story for another day but basically the biggest cause of a coach's a coaching business's debt or a e-learning business's debt is undercharging undercharging not asking the amount of money or in other words not asking the amount of value that you actually deserve right so i was saying to you guys increase your value that's the first big thing that you need to do but sometimes the value is already there you already have everything that you need in order to provide those results, to provide the, that initiative, to get the you know to get all that beauty out there. But you're not appreciating yourself enough. Hey, we've got J. Oh, wait, wait, what's it? Are you Jane? Authentic energy. I think your name is Jane, right? Anyways, hi. <laughs> Thank you for joining. There's a whole bunch of extra people joining. I, I don't think I can give everybody shout outs because then it's going to take too long. But hi, everybody. Welcome on this live video. <laughs> but um, most of the time, people already have that value inside of them. They have so much more to offer. We are our own biggest critics, right? And, and even, if, even at that, we still don't value ourselves enough to actually ask for the money, which is another form of value that we do deserve. 
So when I say to you, step number one is to increase your value, sometimes it's just a matter of increasing your positioning that matches the actual value that you already possess, right? Comment that below. Sometimes it's just positioning yourself in accordance with the value that you already have. And what does that mean then in the next step? It means that if you position yourself well, you can ask for bigger amounts of pay, right? Whether it is you within the company that you work, so if, if you have a nine to five, um, that you get a promotion because actually you deserve that promotion because your work is so good, right? But it's just a matter of you coming forward with it. It's just about you showing the, the confidence, you showing the belief in yourself and showing that by adding loads of value, loads of, of um, energy, positivity, and all that rest of it. But most of all, believe in yourself and self-valuing, right? But then in other cases, when it comes to you being in your own business, it is about you positioning yourself as the expert. Because most of the time, and this is something very important for all of you who want to go into business to realize, is that people buy from people that they know, they like, and they trust, right? They know, they like, and they trust. And how do you gain that trust from people? How do you get them to like you? And I'm not talking about, oh, let's fake something so that they like me. No, it's about you being you. But you also having your positioning there that makes people see that you are an expert at what you know. And by them appreciating the fact that you are an expert at what you know, and therefore you can get them in a certain level, you can get them from A to B, which by the way is called the AB principle, it allows you to get paid more. It allows you to get people to invest more in you because they can see the value that you possess. I was just running a training before for my uh, VIP coaches uh, inner circle and for my launch of business uh students and basically in there I was saying like why is it that people pay huge amounts of money for a Prada bag whereas they they only pay maybe 10 bucks for a bag from like a brand we don't know why is that whereas the material can be the same it could actually be that the, the no name bag has better quality sometimes some cases maybe not with Prada but in other cases it's all because of the positioning that Prada has put for themselves like Really, if you think about it, all the materials put together, in principle, doesn't have to cost the amount that it costs, but yet we are willing to spend that. Why? Because they have positioned themselves. Why? And you have to also position yourself as a Prada. <laughs> oh, YouTube is over. Oh, I see you YouTube there, but you guys are there. So hi, YouTube. <laughs> I haven't given any shout out to my YouTubers. Hello. <laughs> okay. So that's the first thing. The second thing, which is very important, I want you guys to write down. Oh, I got it right. Jane Fang. Yes, I thought you were Jane. <laughs> nice to have you here. <laughs> okay, cool. So the second thing that you will want to do is prioritize your spending. Prioritize your spending. And again, this goes straight back into you understanding what it is that you want and whether you want it enough. Because just as all the examples that I just mentioned before, which is also part of the text above this video, the description above this video, which you cannot see in Instagram, which you can't see if you jump to my Facebook or my YouTube, um, is that a lot of the time when we compare two different things, like do I want to invest in a, in, a, in a mentor or coach for, let's say, a few hundred or a few thousand? Then we think like, mm, I'm not sure, but do we want to get that flat screen TV? Oh, yes. <laughs> do we want to get that 1,000 uh, pound iPhone? Yes, that's a necessity. Do we want to go on that expensive, all exclusive luxury cruise trip <laughs> for a holiday? Yes, we do. We need that. But actually, if you start thinking about that, those things, the second choices that I've meant, uh, mentioned are all liabilities, right? They're all liabilities. And if you guys don't know what liabilities are, there's these two things. One is liabilities, one is assets. And, and, and assets are things that can make you more money, things that can increase in value, things that can you know, allow you to build up your wealth profile. Whereas, oh, whereas um, liabilities are things that depreciate in value, things that do not bring you a return. And yet we have so much more fun spending all our money on liabilities. But if you are very certain about you wanting to create that future for yourself, that future that matches that 2.0 version of yourself and wanting, for instance, to start a business, a lifestyle business that can allow you to help people and make loads of money, 
then you need to shift those priorities, right? You have to shift those priorities. If you have, like, this is a, a big a big thing that I uh, have, like, I laugh about sometimes even with, with uh, some of my, you know, business associates and stuff like that. And it's like, sometimes people say, oh, no, I can't put money on Facebook marketing, even though Facebook marketing is such a necessity. Now, if we're talking about necessities, Facebook marketing is a necessity. Even if I put, have to put my last penny, I'll put it on Facebook marketing because it gets me more people, it gets me more money. It allows me to convert much, much more than if I was to do it without it. But then people go and say, hmm, I, I, I can't possibly, be, possibly put $100 on Facebook marketing, but they can go to Starbucks 500 times a, a week, <laughs> right? And so if you are certain and if you are ready to go and make that change for yourself, oh, are we still on? If we are still on, please leave a comment below. If for whatever reason the video is not working anymore, it is still working on YouTube. So YouTube is a safe channel to be at, but if Facebook can let me know if it's still working, that would be great. Let me just quickly see if we're still on here. I think it is still working. I think it's just, uh, ah, yeah, we're here. All right, cool. So um, thank you guys. And basically it is really about how much do you want it, right? It's, it's as simple as that. People can say all day long, oh, I want, you know, to have a Lamborghini. I want to have, I want to be able to travel. I want to be able to make, become a millionaire. But do you have what it takes to become that? Do you have what it takes to actually make those priorities for yourself? Do not drink Starbucks every single day, every single minute of the day. But can you actually understand that right now, which brings me to my next point, the point number three, can you bear it for a short period of time to downscale in order to upscale? I want you guys to write that down. Can you afford it or can you can you make, you know, can you get yourself to downscale temporarily to upscale for the long run? Okay, cool. Thank you guys so much. This is a very important question. And I don't know how many of you have ever been to Millionaire Mind Intensive, which is a fantastic program by um, uh, T. Harv Ecker. Really, really phenomenal. I went uh, about a year ago in November last year, and it was delivered by Arnon Barnes, really, really amazing speaker. And one of the things that they shared there is also very practical tools that can allow you to actually make more money or, or, or let's say have more money on a monthly basis guaranteed. Now, the word guaranteed is not a word that you can say often, but this is a guaranteed method. And actually I, I learned this method earlier on, like when I just started in business from Eric and Eric obviously learned it from his mentors, right? And it is actually by means of downscaling to upscale later because I don't know how many of you are familiar with the money jar system, right? The money jar system is a system where you have a bunch of money jars and every single time you get paid or you get your money from your business, your, your, your monthly, you know, your monthly pay, basically to say it, uh, quickly, your monthly pay, then you want to set aside 50% that goes into the, the jar that is for all necessities. So to pay for your rent, to pay for your expenses, to pay for your electricity, to pay for your internet, which obviously is needed in this, this time and age, especially if you want to do a business like this. Um, and then whatever other necessities you have, obviously food and stuff like that, right? That That's where 50% where, where of the money goes to. Then you want to put 10% of that money into a, a pot that is there for you to be able to invest in things that will allow you to make more money, right? You want to invest in, in a program. You want to invest in a mentor. You want to invest in, in a business opportunity. Then there's a pot that you want to put in there for education, which is actually like the things that I mentioned in here. Is, it can be like, you know, back and forth kind of thing. It's not like fixed. Um, so 10% you want to spend on actually your education, right? Then another uh, pot you want to put there, which is for charity. So money that you want to give to help others. Then another pot in there is for you to be able to have some fun because having fun, celebrating the wins is also important. So there's a number of pots, a number of jars that you basically want to divide your money in. And when you do, it will allow you to scale up. 
it will allow you to actually have more money in the bank account consistently every single month. But here comes the big problem. Most people look at it and they think at this one, one jar, which is for the necessities, for, for paying the rent and paying all that, those different things. And they say, hmm, if I look at my pay and the 50% of it, it's not going to pay the bills. It's not going to pay for everything. And that's where this step number three came, comes in. Downscale in order to upscale. Downscale temporarily, maybe get a smaller apartment, which has less rent. Maybe uh, right now, quit the gym membership and, and do your exercise at home, run in, outside in the park. Like you don't have to pay for that. You can still keep fit, but downscale temporarily to upscale later. But here comes the thing again. Most people are not willing to do that. And my question to you guys is why? If you are certain about you being able to realize that future for yourself, why is it that you are not able to understand that <laughs> this is just a three-month thing, go to a smaller apartment, maybe not drive this big car at the moment, but actually right now, be living simple, living humble with the knowing that it will transform into something that will bring you so much more wealth that allows you to drive any car that you want to drive. You can, again, go to a bigger, much bigger apartment than you've ever lived in, right? If you are certain about you being able to realize that future, why can you not set aside the ego or something else, whatever it is? I don't know if it's ego. It could be ego. Most of the time it is ego. But how can you not set something aside if you know that it's only temporary and it will get you to that goal? Now, I'm saying this in a very harsh way. I'm saying this in a very direct way. But the reason why I am doing that is because I want this message to land. I want this message to sink in. Because most of the time, we are not able to actually let go of what was. We cannot actually let go of what we have so far accomplished. Now, this goes very deep. And this was the thing that my dad was explaining to me today. We somehow have built up a certain image. We have built up a certain set of credentials. We have built up something which we see is our current accomplishment. And because we are attached to that, because we are attached to our current image, it is very difficult to let go of it, even if we know that when we do, it will bring us so much more. Our image would be way, like, shoot through the roof. But it is, again, that process of being able to let go of that 1.0 version of yourself that is necessary in order to become that 2.0 version of yourself, to actually agree, uh, achieve the great things that you are so capable of and you deserve as well. And so by bringing it back again to the more spiritual side of things, it is a process of letting go of what you have accomplished so far and understanding that everything that got you to where you are today is amazing. You've done well. You can be proud of yourself. But also everything that has got you as far as you are today is what got you where you are today. If you want to grow further than that, you have to let go of your current ways. You have to let go of your current way of acting, thinking, handling things. You have to let go of that because Einstein says it's insanity to think that we can, uh, what's it again? It's insanity to think that we can, um, oh gosh, why do I forget my quote? It's insanity to think that you can get different results if you keep on doing the same thing. There we go. I'm going to pat myself on the back for remembering this again. <laughs> I, I have been very good with my quotes recently because I always used to have the biggest problem with quotes and I always said things wrong and all that type of shit stuff. Even though I got the core right, I never knew exactly what the quotes were, but I've been doing so well recently. But yeah, right now I have slipped, but it's okay. It's all good. Um, so yeah, it is insanity to think that you can keep on doing the same thing and then get a different result. You have to change your ways if you want a different result. And so a lot of the time, even if you think about it from a spiritual aspect, it's like, 
we appreciate everything that has made us who we are today, everything that has brought us as far with all the achievements in all areas of life that we have right now accomplished. But in order to grow to the next level, we have to be able to let go. We have to be able to say, okay, thank you so much. Right now, I'm going to go to the next level. And with that also comes that financial step to be able to say, okay, hey, right now, I want to really, you know, <laughs> scale my business. I really want this to go off the ground. I need to get that mentored in order for me to be able to do it. And so I'm going to, you know, sell my apartment and or, or I'm going to change my apartment. If, I, you're pay, if you're renting, you're going to go to a, a place which, with lower rent. Maybe it's a bit smaller, but it's downscaling temporarily to upscale later. There's also other things that you could do. For instance, you could sell your beautiful luxury car and maybe drive a more affordable car. It still brings you to from A to B one in the same way, but it's just being able to let go of that for a short period of time in order for you to grow to that next version of yourself. So we've mentioned houses, we've mentioned cars. There's a ton of other stuff. Like you just look around in your house. Like everybody can probably look around their house and see a few items that you don't even use anymore. Sell it on eBay. Sell it on eBay or sell it on any other market marketplace. You can even sell it on Facebook Marketplace. I got an amazing camera from Facebook Marketplace. And I was like, wow, how did I get this amazing deal? But this other owner was very happy to get the money for it. And so it's a win-win situation. So you have to start thinking outside the box. But most importantly, and this lies at the foundation of this, is being able to let go and make amends and, and to say, I love you very much. 1.0 version, but right now I am evolving to the 2.0 version. And so I'm moving on and I can grow in, in great, great, great depths, uh, great heights <laughs> when I do that. Right now, step number four. Um, this is a very simple one. Most of you probably know it. It is finding investment, right? Finding investment. Because one thing that is very important for you guys to know, and I want you to comment this below as well, is it's never ever the lack of resources. It is only ever the lack of resourcefulness. Very, very powerful quote when you understand it. Right? And it, it may sound simple, but sometimes you we may understand something in one way. But if you really start thinking about it, it's like, hey, actually, <laughs> that's true. So what do I mean by this? Like, you can find money easily if you have enough drive to find it, right? And how can you find money? Well, very simple, banks. Banks, you can get a loan, you can get a mortgage, is slightly different. Um, you can get a credit card, like there's loads of different things. And also, if you just think about loans, right, there's a lot of different loans. There's personal loans, there's business loans, there's things like there's there's just a variety of things. I don't even know them all by heart, right? But there's loads of different things that you can discuss with a bank. Then aside from that, we also have friends and family. Friends and family that we can go to and, you know, ask for money. But it's about how do you ask it, right? Most people are are first of all too proud to go and ask for money. But pride aside, most people also don't always appreciate the fact that by you asking for money, you might actually give your family member or your friend an opportunity to invest, right? So the first one was banks, second one was friends and family, and the third one is investors, find investors. But I now want to share with you for both investors as well as friends and family, which actually are investors too then in that case, how you can present it to them. Because the big thing, and this does not just hold for pitching for investment. This also holds for you making your live videos or you making your pre-recorded videos or you creating your content. A lot of the times, people tend to speak too much about themselves. <laughs> and to really break it down for you or to say it bluntly, no one cares about you. <laughs> And, and I don't mean, I don't, I don't want to say this to be mean or anything, but I just want to allow this, this mindset shift to come in to really understand how to do this business thing in the most 
relax, in the most uh, effortless, in the most enjoyable way that gives massive value to others and massive value to yourself as well to be able to get the money in and to get the leads in and to get the fulfillment from you helping so many people. And the magic phrase here is, what is in it for them? What is in it for them? What is in it for the audience? Like, I can stand here, talk all day about the things that I like, but you guys wouldn't be on this live here with me or on the replay, for those of you who will be watching the replay. You wouldn't be still on here. We're almost 15 minutes in and you guys are still here with me, paying attention, actively participating. But why is that? It's because I share something that is valuable to you, something that you can take on board and actually implement in your life and get results with it. That's why you're still here. And if I, again, was to talk about everything that I like and like blah, blah, blah about myself, which is, if you look at it, what most people do, you're not going to get that. But the same applies to pitching as well. If you're just going to say, oh, please give me some money because it will, be, it will, it will mean a lot to me and it will be good for me and, and then my business can grow, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, some people who love you will then want to do it, but... How different would it be if you present it in a way and actually make it in a way that it is an opportunity to someone else as well, right? Allow someone to see how by you getting that investment in, it is actually an investment that can multiply money with which someone else gets more money out of it as well. The return on investment. This is very important to think about. And I actually, I remember, I think it was like, two years ago almost when there was a guy a fantastic guy um he, he was one of my uh, most active affiliates when i was still running an affiliate program and when he just started out he really wanted to get on my program launch your business so he, he became my affiliate but he really wanted to get on launch your business and he's i said to him you need to be you know out there you need to be online you need to I, I told him all these different things like find investors all that type of stuff and and he said okay i'm gonna find the money i'm gonna do this but then <laughs> he went live and he said people and he was he was like he had a very very big smile really phenomenal guy and and he said you know invest in me because it would you know be amazing for my business and if you invest in me then i can help more people and i can live my dream blah blah blah, blah. and i was like oh gosh and i because he, he had such a big smile i think people would have still you know done it for him but um, I called him up after that and I said, okay, <laughs> it's, it's really, I love your action taking. He was 100% an action taker, but I said, you really have to understand that you cannot just be talking about you. You have to talk about your audience. You have to say things that can mean something to your, on, uh, to your audience. You have to always ask yourself what's in it for them. And the same applies to you asking for, for money. The same applies for you adding value to people, to get people to stay with you until the end, right? So this is a very important thing to think about. But this is point number four. So you can find the money. And I just want to say one extra thing with this finding money. Because also, having a lot of experience in this and, and coaching so many people worldwide, I have seen a lot of reasons that people bring to me and say like, oh, no, I can't do this. I can't do this because of X, Y, Z. But let me just ask you this question. And this question is actually a universal question in any area for any of these five steps that can literally make a difference for you. So let me ask you the question. <laughs> let me say you, you are going to um, find the investment, find an investor to invest 2000 in your in yourself, right? If you had a time bomb strapped on you, which would go off, go boom in a week, Unless you find 2K of an investment, would you find the money? And this is an actual question. Comment below. Would you find the money? If you have a week, if you don't find the money, boom, would you find it? Or would you be like, oh, let's watch another episode on next Netflix and be like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Like literally, would you find it? And I'm guessing the answer would be yes. Of course you would. <laughs> Sav is saying, absolutely. Because you have enough drive then. Most people don't yet want to, you know, go away from this world. And so if you have enough drive, you would be able to do things. 
So my question to you now is, why not now? Why do we find it so comfortable to give all of these different excuses to ourselves as to why we cannot do something? If we had this time bomb, we would. We, for sure, people are saying, of course, I die trying. <laughs> then why not now? Or let's flip it around and make that your life motto. Right? Make that your life motto. Do whatever good it takes. That's the thing that I always say. Do whatever good it takes. The reason why I don't say do whatever it takes, because whatever it takes would be whatever, right? We'd even you know, hurt people or whatever. And we, we shouldn't probably do that. So do whatever good it takes. Comment below and say, I will do whatever good it takes. And I'm not saying this for me. I'm saying this for you guys, right? I know how to do my things. And I have tons more to learn, tons more to grow in. And I have to tell myself on a daily basis as well, do whatever good it takes. Come on, you got this. But I also want to be like that for you guys, to share with you that you can and will achieve what you want to achieve as long as you put the right mindset to it, have enough drive to do it, and you will get what you deserve, right? Very important thing. Do whatever good it takes. And the final part, number five, is start selling now start selling now and this is by far my most favorite one well all these things are actually favorite like they're all connected anyways but this is my favorite one because most of the time we overcomplicate business and faith, faith is even um is even agreeing with it she's a roof <laughs> but um most of the time we over complicate business we over complicate the start of business Right. We think, oh, we first need to do this. We first need to do that. We give ourselves all again, all these excuses before we finally start. But why not start selling today? Right. And you may be thinking right now, OK, what do you mean? Start selling today. Selling what? Well, I already gave a few examples of what you could sell, which could be all the useless items in your house that will not necessarily you know, bring you much at this current moment. That could be something that you sell. That's actually business as well. If you go and sell your your old keyboard on Amazon or not on Amazon, can they on Amazon? I don't know actually, but uh, on eBay, <laughs> then, or any marketplace that's already running a business, right? Gary Fee talks about this day in, day out when it comes to these flipping things and, and garage sales and all that stuff. That is already business. Having a lemonade, lemonade stand outside, that's already doing business, but we overcomplicate things. But if you really start thinking about it and you understand, okay, I have an idea of how I want to conduct my business. I want to help people lose weight then go out there speak about it on a day-to-day -day basis be consistent add value whenever people message you reply them have a conversation close a deal this can happen like this people don't understand you can get clients like this but you have to start you don't have to wait for a miracle to happen. You don't have to wait for something to finally be there and appear like, oh, you're ready for business now. <laughs> I know I'm being a bit the theatrical about it, but that's because I really want this message to land because the more people realize that business is easy, that it's just a matter of you presenting a whole bunch of value and people giving you value back, which is the money, and you're in business. And you just keep on doing it then. That's it. There's not much more to it. So this by far is my most favorite point because that allows you to not just get the money for business, but that allows you to be in business and then you just have to scale. And that's it, right? So again, the five points were increase your value. Do not undervalue yourself. Position yourself high. Oh, Instagram, I got one minute and 40 something seconds left and then it's probably gonna cut. So I'm just gonna say it quick. Um, prioritize your spending, right? Don't spend on silly stuff that don't bring you benefits. Uh, downscale to upscale. Uh, find investors, banks, family, friends, and investors, the, the, the traditional investors, and start selling now. Now guys, thank you so much for being here with me, but don't go just yet. I just wanna share and ask you for one thing. If you think, that this video has been valuable. If you think that perhaps anyone in your circle can benefit from this content, could actually make a big shift if they listen to this video, then please feel very free to hit the share button. Because one of the things that I personally really wanna do 
is help more people, reach out to more people, give this free content to more people so that people can actually start living the lives that they want to live, living the lives that they deserve to live. These are the things that we didn't learn in school, right? I have been blessed to learn from a lot of different amazing mentors, but not everybody knows this stuff. So I want to pass it on. And I just want to ask you guys, if you think this is valuable, if you think that it can help anybody else, then please feel very free to hit the share button. And then together we can make this world a better place. But most importantly, make sure to implement this in your business. Make sure to implement this in your life so that you can start living the life of your dreams. Other than that, I'm very much looking forward to see you guys tomorrow where I'm going to do a fantastic contest to give away some really, really cool stuff. So make sure to tune in tomorrow live on the same channels. So guys, love you very much and catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>